All right, so on to the next mission. Level number seven is Frigate. Okay, so once again, double agent difficulty right away. So uh, let's see the objectives. Rescue hostages, disarm the bridge, and the engine room bomb, and plant tracking bug on helicopter. All right. Yeah, this level is not difficult at all. The only danger you might face is not from the enemies shooting you. It's more like if you don't save the hostages in time before they get shot. So all you really have to do is just uh, give them like one bullet and then uh, that pretty much takes their aim off the hostages. Yeah. Wow, look at these graphics. And to think like at some point in time, these were like top of the line graphics. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> but I mean, they did okay. It's fine. All right, we'll take this entrance. Shoot him right there. There we go. Save that hostage. And there's two enemies. One of them ran off. Okay. The Phantom. Oh, that's the uh, the cool looking silver automatic gun. Okay, here's uh, the first bomb by the bridge. There should be a disarming device. There is the bomb diffuser. Push the trigger button. There you go. Okay, so where were we? There was someone that ran down here. Oh, he's got two guns. Take him out. Uh, let's take the other way around over here. Wow, these phantoms are pretty cool looking, yeah. But uh, right now I don't have much ammo, so I'll stick to this one. All right, good. And it seems like uh, both of these weapons share the same ammunition type. So I think for now I'll use this uh, silenced one. So I'm not making so much noise. All right, let's uh, carefully check the corners. Oh, there's one. Yeah, you don't want to rush and then get shot. Just wait for the enemy to come to you. And there you go. All right, we'll check this door over here. Oh, that's the other side of the boat. And there should be... Oh, there he is. Okay, there. Save that hostage. And as soon as he entered this room, I remember there's one on the right side into the connecting room right over there. So just shoot that guy. There we go. Good. And oh, watch out. Yeah, sometimes their animation to fire is kind of slow, so you can take advantage of that and just kind of dodge them or shoot them. But yeah. All right, we're good. Nice. Nice phantom gun, but yeah, I don't have much ammo for this, but it looks cool. Huh. There's this dude. Didn't he see me? There we go. All right. There's one down over here on this side. All right. What's in this door here? Ah, okay. This is the uh, the back side of the boat. There's a dude down there. Okay. And that's where I have to go. Down there. But uh, let me just check over here. Then, oh, there's two guys by the bridge. What are they doing over there? Look at them. <laughs> I think what happened is when I was using the gun down in one of those rooms the noise attracted them but then they lost my position so they got kind of stuck there I guess maybe possibly I was really hoping they would have brought us the uh, the actual remastered version that was uh, leaked on Xbox 360 a couple of years ago uh, you guys can see that video on YouTube somewhere but um, that one had both versions had had the standard N64 textures and models, but it also had a actual remastered version with brand new textures. And I was really hoping we'd get that as an option to kind of flip back and forth between the original graphics and the updated ones, but we didn't really get that. I feel like this version of the game is a direct port from the N64 version, but it's just been upscaled to have a slightly better resolution and have widescreen support. I don't really notice the enemies having a better frame rate during the animations that they do. It kind of feels the same, so yeah. Oh, by the way, the uh, Nintendo Switch version, they actually have online multiplayer. But I was reading uh, through some comments and uh, I read that the control setup on the Switch version is not that easy to get into. But uh, I also read there's a different way to kind of uh, 
set it up so it's a bit more simplified and easier to play the game. So I was hoping uh, you would get that remastered version to kind of have the option of switching back and forth between the original graphics and some true remastered graphics, but uh, no. It just feels like a direct N64 port with um, widescreen enabled. That's pretty much what it feels like. And uh, even though the Switch version has the online version there, I'm hoping that maybe in the future Xbox will get it because I would love to play this game online. Because for now on Xbox it only has a uh, split screen multiplayer. All right. Anyway, so back to the mission. Here is the uh, next uh, bomb we have to defuse in the engine room. There we go, that's done. And uh, there should be a few enemies down here along with one more hostage. There you go. That was done. And Whoa, there's someone behind me. Let me check. Yeah, there's someone right at the back over there. I think he was under the stairs maybe. Maybe that's why I missed him, yeah. So I believe that's it. I think I am done. So now I can uh, make my way to the top. Let me just check. Yeah, everything is done. Okay. So uh, I got to get back to my boat and that should be it. All right. Let's go this way. Then go up. Down the hall. And then up again. And uh, let's see. Oh, there is a hostage running around. Where exactly do they run? Do they keep running through the entire stage or because I kind of thought they would run back to my boat and escape there but I don't think so. Wow man look at the graphics of the ocean and like the sky like it's so simple but I mean it works for the game. <laughs> yeah this guy is just like running around. Yeah okay you know what never mind. I'll just uh, make my way to my boat and uh, be done with this mission. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. You just got to watch out for uh, those hostages getting shot. 